G'day guys, I'm Dave, the CNC newbie. Today I'm really excited. I'm getting ready for my first cut. Um, what I've just done is I've just set up on the computer. I've got my source rabbit up. I have tested the G-code. Uh, it's not that exciting, that's why I didn't want to film it. Uh, and tested it to make sure it runs. Uh, I've got some wood down, down there. So I've got a couple of pieces of wood. I've got some tape between the uh, spoil, the, the main board and the two pieces of wood. The second one is just the spoil board, just in case I go too deep. I don't want to destroy the uh, the main black base just yet, anyway. Um, I'd lie if I wasn't if I wasn't, said I wasn't nervous. Uh, it's my first cut, so we'll see how it goes. I got no idea how how fast I should set the spindle. Uh, the feed rate is set to eight hundred. Is that enough? Is it not enough? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. That's kind of what the default is. Uh, so there's something I modeled in uh, on shape. It's going to be the dust shoe. It's going to actually bane it on here, and hopefully, I uh, will get it nicely cut out. So let's do this. So let's turn the spindle on. So it's fired up. I'm going to go to about halfway. Um, I don't know if that's enough. But I'm able to get the vibration down a fair bit. Um, I'm using a three millimeter bit. And uh, here we go. I don't know if you can see that. Good, it's done the first part. But there's, def there's definitely a high point in my wood, so it's kind of cutting it across. That's not good, this is just a test anyway, but we'll see. Being held on just by some tape. Nothing, nothing much there. Yeah. And the final lap around. finished but uh, and it's done <gasps> let's turn the spindle off okay now I'm gonna raise the raise the uh, the bit up and out of the way which 
get a little bit further. Give myself plenty of space to. Yeah, should be plenty. All right, let's let's put you guys down here, and let's try to pull this off. Let's keep pulling it all down. Now, luckily, it wasn't going there. This is turns out this is good tape. Um, yeah. When I bought the tape the other day, I also picked up myself a handy dandy spatula to try to get these things apart. Okay, so I'm just popping the outside off. Actually, let's try to get you in a better position. I don't know if you can see what's going on. It'd be great spot to actually watch the. Uh, okay, so that's a rip off some tape, that's okay. I don't want to keep all the dust inside here because I'm vacuuming up in a second. That's old scrap tape. Let's do this job. Look at this. Tape off. All right, and so that's the part. That that is so cool. So obviously, you can see the uh, the corners. I'll just kind of point you here. The corners in here are rounded, obviously they couldn't be square because of the uh, three millimeter end mill that I had. Uh, that should still work. And this hole at the bottom, if I've measured everything correctly, should work with the vacuum cleaner I have. Or one of the vacuum cleaners I have. Now, I'll tidy it up with a bit of sandpaper, but I wanna see if it actually works first. So if it does fit, the next step will actually be to put uh, my strip of brush around the outside, vacuum cleaner, and I got a dust sheet. But let's see if it works. Make sure I've got you pointed where I need you to be pointed. And if all goes well, this should be able to be installed like that. So my measurements are off. I think I need to make these teeth slightly less uh, wide. That's okay. That's just a test piece. Doesn't fit. But we are close. We are very, very close. I think I need to make my outer diameter just a little bit bigger and the teeth themselves just a little bit smaller. But I gotta kind of tidy that up with a knife. I'm gonna give that a go. I just wanna get this on there. The idea, the idea is, in case you're wondering, uh, this is gonna click on like that and then you go clunk and it'll lock into place. And we got the, the uh, vacuum cleaner attached at the front. That is so cool. Success! Also, um, because I had tape only in the middle and I clamped on the sides, it actually bent the uh, top bit of wood. So, obviously for a thin bit like this, it's not too bad. I just gotta make sure my clearance when it raises up is a bit higher. Don't know how to set that, but I gotta, I'm sure it'll be somewhere in Kirimoto on how to do it. But uh, so that gave us a couple of uh, blemishes in the middle. But, um, yeah, that worked out great. Catch you guys later.